Hey, this is Thomas with Camp Works, and this behind me is the NS1. Excited to give you guys just a little walk around tour. On the exterior camp here of the NS1, we've got the fully composite body. We have three colors. We've got signal black, we've got space gray, and we've got alpine white for the exterior options. Powder coated trailer. We got 16 inches at our low point of trailer ride height. Around the side, you'll see five windows, the porthole windows, the placement of our front stargazer window. All of these were designed so that when you're laying in bed, you can actually see out, see stars. And when you're sitting inside, we'll show you the interior in just a minute, but the window is positioned perfectly at ride height so you can see and see the views as you're sitting at camp. Up here on the front of the NS1, you have the lock and roll hitch. This is a full 360 articulation. You've got 270 this direction, you got theoretically 270 the other, and then the, the receiver as well spins. You got your jack, this is a 5,000 pound jack, and then the tow chain's up on the front to keep it nice and clean. Trailer is a powder coated steel two by four perimeter, two by two cross bracing and a three by three steel tongue, overbuilt so that it's gonna be strong and sturdy for you and take any of the tasks that you might put this thing through. We've got underneath a 3,500 pound timber and suspension that it rides on. And in this, in our demo, standard tire is a KO2. Something unique here in the industry, something we started off doing, is the one-piece composite body. We have five parts of our mold that come together and make it seamless so that you have no water permeation through the body. You have eighth inch exterior layer, balsa core, eighth inch layer on the interior. The chamfer detail actually adds strength and rigidity. All the window trim and door trim also strengthens the body rather than being cut out of it. So you never have any core exposed. You have a raptor lined exterior. On the side of your NS1, you have your ventilation air intake. Through the air here, you have a filter behind it. You have ventilation to the interior cab. You have ventilation to the underbody and the electronics. And you have ventilation for your air conditioner that's in the rear compartment back here. On the side, you also have inlet and outlet hot water comes out here for outdoor shower, outdoor rinsing, and gives you access to your rear kitchen so you have water on demand. These are freeze-proof outlets from Aquar. Coming around back here, the rear of the NS1, you're gonna see the solar exposure. We've got 240 watts of fixed solar from Nishadi utilizing a Merlin cell. This is the best in the industry and only used on a large scale by the US Marines. We wanted to make sure that we had something that was reliable and durable powering your needs. In addition to the 240 watts fixed, you can plug in an additional 1200 watts into the side of your unit, making it so that you can run endlessly off grid, fully solar, utilizing your heat, your air conditioning, your cooking, and any other accessories, keep your camera gear charged as well. The rear kitchen has gone from the three feet that you see in the back here, and it's gone all the way up to that nine feet of countertop space. Up on the rack, your standard mounted front runner platform always comes with the NS1 so that you can take all your gear for any adventure anywhere you are, whether it be kayaking, skiing, rafting, or your rooftop tent up on top in this situation. We have Tapui options, we have RTC options if you wanted to go that route, um, clamshells, any variety can mount up there if you need extra sleeping space, but again, the platform standard just gives you a nice strong base for anything that you're doing. We also have the front runner awning. When you set up your campsite, take out your chairs from the interior of the camper, set up your awning, throw out your tent, and open your rear kitchen here, and your campsite is off and running from that point forward. LED tail lights on a trailer and all interior wiring so that you never have any rodents chewing on wires. Everything's run on the inside of the body, and we do an amazing job trying to keep that all sealed up for you so you'll never have any issues there. Coming back again to the ventilation, this is your exhaust from the entire system. Again, exhausting your electrical in the bottom. You have a lot of battery, a lot of inverter power, so you ought to get a lot of airflow. This comes out here. It also moves 240 cubic feet per minute out of your interior space. Crack a window, and that means that's gonna be refreshing your interior air every 30 seconds. On the side of your NS1, not featured here, but something really critical to understand is in this unit, in our demo unit, we have 120 volt in and 120 volt 30 amp out. In the new NS1 here, you'll see on the site, you'll see these specs come through. We have 120 volt to 240 volt input. EV fast charging is gonna go right in here, as well as a 240 volt output on the outside of your camper 
And that's for anything from running a table saw in an off-grid situation, an electric chainsaw if you're doing forest service work, anything you needed to. If somebody shows up to your camp with their RV, you could actually plug your NS1 and run their, their large you know, 40 footer off of the NS1. Inside, we've talked about the exterior ports and inlets here and what you can get access to. Other access points on the exterior, you have 12 volt and 24 volt access onto the outside for lights or coolers or whatever that may be that you need at the campsite. Your exterior lighting packages that light your exterior, one's up in here and lights your chargers, one on the other side that lights there, and then step lighting that lights the underneath of your body so you when you just step out at the campsite, you see that. When you hop inside and you talk about the electrical specs within the NS1 here, we have a 5,000 watt capacity output through our inverter. Again, that 120 volt to 240 volt charging, as well as the 1,200 watts of solar input that you can utilize. With that, you have 800 amps max battery storage, 400 at base. And what that allows you to do is on a weekend trip, 400 amp hours. What does that mean? On a weekend trip, if the sun doesn't shine, you're going to be fine just with the battery power you come and bring along. You go up to the 800, you're going to start to get into that week-long range even if the sun's not repowering it. And again, this is all application-based, right? If you're powering the whole campsite, you've got to make sure you're adjusting for it. But the standard operation is we talk for a group of two to four for three to six days for the 400 or the 800 amp hour battery. All right, now let's take a look at the inside. Key features the interior of an NS1. To me, it's the solid wood cabinetry and the acoustic wall panels in here. What you're going to notice when you lay in an NS1 is even though it is a small space, it's a queen size mattress in here, the acoustic panels make it so that you don't get reverb and you don't get a tinniness. You don't feel like you're stuck in some little box because of the fact that the acoustic panel catches some of that noise. So a little design detail that we talk about often with the NS1, but is highly critical to giving you a great interior experience. Inside of your NS1 cabinetry, there's no utilities. It's just open space for your gear to be stored, stacked in, and we can even do custom drawers. Behind our heated grate there, that's where your exhaust, your resistive heater, your heat pump all come through. And behind this door here is access to your electronics. Things about our electronics that we can notice from the interior of the NS1 is that it's all controlled through C-Zone's Touch 7 display, which allows you to turn on and off lights. It keeps all your switches digital, meaning if you blow a fuse, you'll be able to reset it digitally. If there's ever an issue with your camper, it's going to give you that feedback. You're going to be able to monitor battery charge, solar inputs. You're going to be able to check temperature, interior and exterior temperature, all through the C-Zone display. We've always utilized not just max capacity on our battery, on our chargers, on our inverters, and on our solar, but we always aim for the best of the best. Using Mastervolt and the whole power products line in our components gives you an experience that's seamless where your electronics don't just work, you don't just have a battery, you have a battery that's going to maintain itself, that's going to do thermal protection, has great battery management systems in it, and links into the whole ecosystem giving you great control over your NS1 electrical system. You'll also notice up overhead when you're in the NS1, it's not just the cabinetry, it's that everything's in the right place. When you close your door away, you don't see the books, you don't see your phone, you don't see hats and gloves and gear. You're able to close it away, lock it off, and make sure that it's safe, secure, and protected, but again, giving you that simplicity on the interior space so that you have everything on hand, nothing in sight, and you can make sure that the experience when you're out here is all about the people that you are with. The last question we always get, and about the interior is, it's a small space, but we pack everything in. With your storage in your upper cabinet, your main cabinet, that's part of it, but you also have underneath the mattress, you have storage. Underneath there, you have about 10 cubic feet of space to throw in extra camp chairs, extra camping gear, extra tents for your friends to come along, sleeping pads for them. We're always doing the work to make sure the NS1 is the best that we can imagine it to be, made to the highest standards possible so that you and your family can get out and adventure and live where you are. Thank you.